So joining us to get it, rolling again is Hope Berdalski from Gateway to Science. That's right. So what are we doing now? I see we brought out a bowl. Yes, we are talking about the science of sound. So sound in itself is vibrations. Mm -hmm. And with sound, it travels through air. That's how we're talking, but it travels best through solids and liquids. And so here I have our Chinese dancing water bowl. This used to be one of our exhibits in our old gallery space. Mm -hmm. um, but I love it because it is a great example of seeing, feeling, and hearing sound. Okay. And so I'll dip my hands in here to get a little bit of fluid fluidity going through it, less friction. And as I vibrate it back and forth, Whoa. you can see it vibrating the table, I guess, uh -huh. the water. Yeah. You can feel it by vibrating the table, mm -hmm. and then you can also hear the sound. And so sometimes it's a little bit tricky to try, but if okay. you guys want to try it out. Is that just water you did? It's just water. So you'll dip it in so it's a little less friction. You'll rub it back and forth. How hard do you need to press? Not very. It's yeah. very gentle. I like to pull this out when I'm feeling a little stressed. So it's yeah. just, oh, yes. You play with it. It's so fun. How come you have the magic touch? Like oh. I said, I pull this out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Krista? you got it. Okay, let's see if we can get so it. You dip, dip, and then you'll hand. try and keep it in that middle plane of your hand. Oh. Okay. Does it matter that I have a ring on? Not at all. Okay. okay. And keep it on your palm. Oh, I can. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, that feels like magic. <laughs> I'm wondering if we could get like the oh. jib in there. You could see. <laughs> I've got the, the water new vibrating. Skin. Look at that. It's like That's fun. Science that is so is neat. like magic, but oh, real. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and that so is this. Neat is my favorite example of sound. Um, we actually bring this on the road for some of our STEM Zone kits, mm -hmm. um, which is a program that we bring 10 different activities of all different types of sciences to explore um, to different schools all across the state. That's usually one of our busiest um, types of events, especially in the fall, because yeah. kids are coming back to school, yeah. they're doing back to school nights. Um, but this is hands down one of my favorites because we also have different pieces to it. Um, this is a tuning fork. Mm -hmm. um, we actually had them donated by Eckroth Music, so thank you, Eckroth. <laughs> um, and with these, I actually use these, use these a lot in college. Um, I have a music minor, and so I learned a lot about it. But mm -hmm. using it, it vibrates these. Um, prongs at the end, you'll hold this small piece right here, and then this circular piece you'll end up putting in front of your ear, and it vibrates the bone so that it sends the signals to your brain. So you can't hear it if it's mm -hmm. just in the air, but as soon as you put it up to your ear, mm -hmm. you can hear the vibration and hear the sound being created. Um, and oh, something cool yep. about our tuning forks, we have something similar to it in our gallery space. Um, and with that, you plug your ears and then put your chin on top of it, and it vibrates the bones in mm. your head. And so then you can hear the sounds. That's okay. neat. So the tuning forks, are mm -hmm. they all the same size? Do they all make the same sound? Or are there different sizes? Because you, you're a music minor, so mm -hmm. you said you were using it to tune different instruments. Mm -hmm. There's Is there different sizes to get different noises? You can get different sizes. Okay. So this one, the typical universal one for like music students is the A440. But if you're tuning different instruments, you may use a different one. And they're also used sometimes in like yoga um, to help have that centering mind. Um, ah. And so it's a lot of fun. But yeah. uh, my last fun thing, okay. I love this piece because you can do this at home easy peasy. You can use uh, the end of a spoon or a knife as long as it's safe and gentle. Um, and with adult supervision. <laughs> and then Always. any sort of glass that can have some reverberation. And so mm -hmm. I have water in here. And, and as sure. you tap it, it creates a note. Mm -hmm. And so with this, you can change the levels of water in it. And it'll change the tone that it's being created. So more water is a deeper sound. It has more liquid to travel through, so mm -hmm. it's a deeper tone. And then less water, less water to travel through higher tone. It's like a, a big tuba being really large and creating that deep sound and mm -hmm. a piccolo being really small and creating those small frequencies. Is that like when sometimes when you see people take their finger and go mm -hmm. over the edge, mm -hmm. you're doing the mm -hmm. same concept? Exactly. Oh, okay. You just have to use a very thin crystal glass with mm -hmm. it. It's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, it's <laughs> tricky. <laughs> so the the mobile that you bring around with the different science experiments, how would someone go about signing up for that or getting that to come to, to their town? Well, you'll be talking to me. Um, there is a form on our website. It should be a t under a tab called Learn, and then there's a chance to hit 
um, something about like GTS in your school and then you'll fill out a request form and then I'll be reaching out to you setting it up. But Wonderful. our fall is starting to fill up so if you're interested in having us come and join you, uh, we travel everywhere in the state, corner to corner and everywhere in between. Wonderful. And so awesome. we're hoping to reach as many people as possible. Yeah. Last awesome. question with the 30th mm -hmm. anniversary, do you want people to just show up at the door? Do so, they need the tickets cool. or anything? It is going to be so much fun because we <laughs> are having the check-in process in our parking lot mm -hmm. because we are going mm -hmm. to have food trucks taking oh, over our cool. parking lot. So we'll have parking in the BSC parking lot, um, the North Dakota Safety Council, oh, wow. the Aquatic Center, and we will have golf carts helping us get okay. to the parking lot and to the building. Um, and so we'll have those helping people make their way over, but you'll have the check-in at the parking lot and then mm -hmm. you'll be able to make your way in. We'll have giveaways, live demos, food trucks, um, live music. Um, one of my favorites is we'll be doing an activity where you help us build the Artemis SLS rocket. Okay. We'll have a place for people to sign and then we'll hopefully keep it in the gallery forever so you can say you helped us have a piece of gallery. Better be there. Yeah, that is a <laughs> lot of stuff going on. Oh, oh yeah. Thank Great. you for coming down what here. Awesome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Wonderful.